Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. Okay. We can start. Yes. Yeah. Over to you, Kiran Sir and Prashant Sir. So we have a demonstration uh, uh, about the DC house system. Uh, sir, for a technically, you have to guide us. Then let us start on hands on that. <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> so the whole idea of this workshop is uh, to demonstrate how simple it is to generate uh, energy with the solar and use it. Uh, <clears throat> So what we are going to learn uh, today uh, from this workshop is to how you can do yourself and how students and teachers themselves can power their own solar uh, classrooms or their own classrooms on solar and uh, it would become a fun activity and also a lot of learning would happen. So typically what we want, how do we use electricity? Why do we use electricity? The most important uh, aspect of using electricity is to getting something done, you know, running some appliances. So basically what we do typically is uh, uh, we use loads. You know, load can be a light, it can be electricity, a bulb, it can be fan, refrigerator, washing machine, anything. That becomes a load. Normally the kind of electricity that we generate and supply them, it is comes through a very, very long journey. You know, for example, typically we use uh, coal electricity, 74% electricity in India is produced from coal. So if you look at the journey of the coal, it's a very, very long journey. So we mine, first of all, we import a lot of coals. So we do the mining and from mining, uh, we, need to, we need to transport the coal. From transportation, we need to bring it to the power plant. Uh, in the power plant, we have to burn the coal. Then from that, we need to generate steam. From uh, generating steam, we need to run generators. From generator, uh, we need to generate very high voltage, you know, uh, as much as uh, 66,000, uh, 660,000 volt kind of level, or 660 kV. Then we need to transmit this electricity thousands of hundreds of kilometers, thousands of kilometers. You know, then step down from 660 kV to 440 kV. Then what we do again, transmit it, then convert 440 kV, 440 kV to 220 kV. And from 220 it becomes 110, from 110 it becomes 66 kV, then from 66 kV it becomes 33 kV, then 11 kV. So there are seven substations where electricity passes. And eventually the last, last substation will be 11 kV to 230 volt. And this 230 volt eventually then drive your load. Such a complex arrangement that uh, we have done it, which is a current system. And similar to this, the nuclear power plant will be working similarly. Hydro power plant will also be working similarly. So very complicated. What we can do is we can make things very simple. And rather than using this load like this, if I connect this with the PV module, PV panel, <clears throat> so my whole system becomes that simple. The question is, is it possible to do something like this? Can we connect a load directly with the solar panel? And if it is possible, in what condition this is possible? So it's a, such a simple thing can happen, right? Just take a load and connect with the panel. Take a LED light and connect with the panel. Take a pump and connect with the panel. Uh, take a fan and connect with the panel. There is no battery, there is no electronic, there is nothing. So if you appropriately match three things, you have to appropriately match voltage and current. And if you match this two, third thing will be matched automatically and power. So if you match the voltage requirement of the load, current requirement of the load, and power requirement of the load with the appropriate voltage and current and power from the panel, you can actually connect them together and uh, it will work. And we can actually see the demo effect. The good thing about this is that, uh, for example, uh, we have a light. There is a light.
So for example, this is a line, this is a load, yeah? and this is a, a 12 volt, 12 watt uh, light, you know? and uh, typically there are two connections, plus and minus, two points always, and solar panel also has a plus and minus. So if you connect the plus of it with the solar panel minus and plus of the uh, to the plus and minus of the load, and if the voltage is sufficient, so this light requires 12 volt. This light requires 12 volt and the panel that we can use to connect it directly uh, is also 12 volt. You see the uh, ratings behind. <coughs> that one which is connected. Yeah, this one. So that is also 12 volt. So that is also 12 volts. If we connect this, so the requirement of load will be fulfilled. And uh, typically the PV module will actually provide something like 16, 17 volt. Rated volt, voltage will be higher. So voltage conditions are matched. Then you have to see how much current is required. So if it is 12 volt and the power of the load is 12 watt, how much current is required? 1 ampere. Isn't it? Voltage into current equal to power. So then 1 ampere current is required. Now if 1 ampere current is supplied, then it will, will look full bright. But if it is not 1 ampere, half ampere, then it will be half bright. If it is quarter ampere, it will be quarter bright. So the fluctuation in intensity will happen if my current is changing. The good thing about such kind of arrangement where panel and load is directly connected is that uh, for the daytime operation, you know, like academic campuses, uh, which are not critical operation, which means the variation in intensity is okay. If my light fluctuates a little bit, it's okay. If that is the case, then I can directly connect without any battery. So that is my first kind of system it can be. But somebody say, no, I do not want fluctuation in operation. If I connect a fan, I do not want the speed of the fan to change. Then what I need to do is I need to bring a battery in the circuit. So. <clears throat> My PV panel, then I'll take a battery. Let me try it fresh. <clears throat> then I have a PV panel, a battery, but batteries are typically always a very Delegate equipment, and you need to have a charge controller. <coughs> then you can connect to the load. So the connections are going to be like this. A PV panel is connected to the charge controller, battery is connected to the charge controller, load is connected to the charge controller. In this case, in this case, which is the simplest possible system, and by the way, this works very well. In one of our project in Harda district, uh, Madhya Pradesh, we have powered 350 Anganwadis with this. So we call them NGNB systems. No grid, no battery solar system. So the advantage is they are very cheap. There's no battery, nothing to maintain. The dis disadvantage is they, the load is going to fluctuate, which is okay many times. If you don't want fluctuation, and everything is DC by the way, the panel generates DC electricity and the load also runs on DC. So these are DC DC system. In this case, there can be another arrangement where the charge controller is brought in. The duty of the charge controller is to protect the battery from over charge and over discharge. So that is the role of charge controller. And because the batteries are very delicate item, you need to protect them. In this case, if sunlight is fluctuating, the load will not, the sunlight is fluctuating, the load will not fluctuate. And uh, and it will work. So again, the load is DC, the charge controller is DC, the battery is DC, the whole thing is DC. Now this can be just a 12 volt operation, everything is 12 volt. And the 12 volt is such a low voltage that you can touch it, feel it, nothing will happen, you will not get a shock. Up to 60 volt, the human body does not get any shock. Up to 60 volt. So you can do that. So this also we can see and demonstrate. We have a charge controller and... Uh, 
So we have charge controller, uh, everything is there, so we can see this system. There is a third variation when you see that, uh, uh, when you feel that uh, I want to run a normal load. So you want to run a, a AC fan, then the third system could be following a PV panel and a battery. And now instead of a DC, you will have inverter, which is DC to AC converter. So your panel is still, your panel is still going to produce DC. Your batteries is still going to use DC, store energy in DC, but your inverter convert into DC into AC. So therefore your load, your load can be AC load. So you can now, so what AC normally typically the standard voltage is 230 volt. So your load can actually run on AC and 230 volts. So normal AC light, AC fan, everything you can do. It is best to use this kind of system because many loads that we have at home, our lights, LED lights are DC, our TV is DC, our mobile phones are, every electronics user is actually DC. But this can be another way of connecting. So now students can actually do this system, which is very simple, but they can also do this system. This will be a little bit more expensive because of the battery but it will give the good constant power to the fan and light. And because it is daytime, you don't need a very big battery. The same system, if you want to need it at nighttime, you need to have a bigger battery. Uh, so therefore, student can actually power their classroom either this way or that way. This way, there is going to be a fluctuation. That way, not going, uh, there will not be any fluctuation, but there is extra cost. So this, this and this system demonstration is what uh, Kiran and Prashant will show you right now. So first of all, this light is running and the panel is even in shade. Keep it in the shade. You see the light is still on. It's so one thing it shows is that even in the uh, diffuse condition like that, the light is going to run. It is going to be less, but it is going to run. And uh, when it is fully bright, it is, it, so that is one way you can directly illuminate your lights. Uh, but it's going to fluctuate depending on the change your angle. So the, it is going to fluctuate because a less different amount of electricity will, uh, different amount of sunlight will fall, but it is always going to run. Similarly, the fan that we are going to show, fan can also, the speed will vary, but fan will run directly without anything. And then you can put a battery inside and uh, make sure that uh, the speed is constant. So this, you can see the demo, very skinny. So then do the demo, I have another meeting, online meeting to join. Oh, join pasted who? You have to see it. no battery, uh, no grid, no battery system. In which we have to run on the system. In which we have to run on the system. In which we have to run on the system. In which we have to run on the system. In which we have to और इसमें हम बैटरी का सपोर्ट लेंगे जो फ्लक्चुएशन होता है वो ना हो और ये एसी सिस्टम के लिए है ये दोनों डीसी पर वर्क करेगा डीसी सिस्टम है ये एसी वर्क है तो एसी तो हम बहुत सारे लोग जानते ही होंगे कि इन्वर्टर पे ही ये चलेगा तो अभी हमारे पास इन्वर्टर नहीं है लेकिन एक चार्ज कंट्रोलर येलो कलर का है ये है ये चार्ज कंट्रोलर है तो अभी जो भी इंटरेस्टेड हूँ इसको खुद से प्रैक्टिकल करने का वो आ जाए
कि चार्ज कंट्रोलर का काम ये रहता है कि वो जो डीसी सप्लाई को मिलती है उसको डीसी को पूरा मैनेज करता है और जो फ्लैक्चुएशन आता है इनके बैटरी को भी ये मेंटेन करेगा बैटरी चार्ज होगी और जब सनलाइट कम होगा तो ये बैटरी से सप्लाई लेके लोड को देगा तो जो भी इंटरेस्टेड हो तो खुद से एक बार करके देखें देखिए ये ये है आपका चार्ज कंट्रोलर और इसमें इनपुट आउटपुट और लोड का पूरा ये है अब देखिए कहाँ पे है पैनल का कनेक्शन वहाँ पे तो जी तो पैनल की जो तो प्लस और माइनस की सप्लाई आएगी वो यहाँ पे रहेगी और ये तो हमारा फ्यूज है यहाँ पे बैटरी कनेक्शन होगा जी एम पी पी सी जो होता है वो इन्वर्टर में होता है ये चार्ज कंट्रोलर है तो ये इसमें जो है ये सिंपल हमारा जो सिस्टम है उसको केवल डीसी सी अप्लाइंस लाने के लिए डायरेक्ट डीसी लोड यहाँ पे है इस पॉइंट जी हाँ पैन यहाँ तो इनपुट आउटपुट और लोड और ये बैटरी सबका इसमें कनेक्शन ऑलरेडी दिया रहता है कई तरीके के चार्ज कंट्रोलर होते हैं चौबीस वोल्ट बारह वोल्ट तो जैसा आप देखिए ये बारह वोल्ट के लिए है तो बारह वोल्ट के लिए जो ये वाला सिस्टम है इस वाले सिस्टम में हमको चार्ज कंट्रोलर की जरूरत है केबल का क्या रोल ये वाला सिस्टम केबल का क्या रोल तो इनफ लाइट आपको दिखेगा 
कुछ लोगों में एक प्लान किया ना कि बिल्कुल भी नहीं चलेगा ये रेडिएशन से जो वर्क करता है ये उसका इफेक्ट है और जैसे सर के साथ मीटिंग हुआ फादर के साथ भी मीटिंग हुआ कि वी आर गोइंग टू हमारे सारे डिपार्टमेंट में ऐसे एक एक रूम वी शुड हैव लाइक दिस बैटरी और विदाउट बैटरी ऐसा मॉडल होना चाहिए जिसमें कनेक्शन नहीं है गवर्नमेंट का कनेक्शन है नहीं इट शुड बी और नॉट फुल्ली सोलर तो ऐसे हमने बात की ऐसा सी हाउ नहीं बहुत इजी है कोई भी कर सकता है तो मतलब आप लोग एक बार करके देखिए पूरा चीज करके देखें तो इनफैक्ट आई आई बी शेयरिंग मैनुअल आल्सो इसके लिए एक मैनुअल भी छोटा सा हमने देखा है टेक्निक जब तक सर कहते हैं जब तक सोलर का जनरलाइजेशन नहीं होगा ना लाइक बेटा जाओ सो वाट का के पैनल लेके आओ किराना दुकान से जो भी इलेक्ट्रिकल दुकान से तब तक ये पड़ेगा नहीं मैं तो पीपल में लिख रहा कि हाँ सब्सिडी आएगा तभी खरीद लेंगे बट लाइफ भी उतना है पे बैक या वो सारी चीजें कंसिडर की तो बाकी के जो पांच साल पांच साल को अगर छोड़ा जाए तो बीस साल तक अभी आप इसे मैटर फ्री ये यूज कर रहे हैं तो पच्चीस साल का अगर हम इफिशियंस के ड्यूरेशन देखते हैं तो ऑब्वियसली आप सभी प्रोफेसर ये जानते ही हैं कि पच्चीस साल के लिए तो मोर देन इनफ की हम अच्छे से यूज कर सकते हैं मेनली कि नॉट डिपेंड ऑन ऑन गवर्नमेंट के प्लांट पे पैनल का भी रिसाइकलिंग का भी बहुत बड़ा इशू हाँ, उसी के लिए पहले हमको अवॉइड करना है इनमेज उसके बाद ही जनरेट के बारे में सोचना है जनरेट लोकली करना है मेन वो चीज तो ठीक है स्टूडेंट्स के साथ आप मिलकर थोड़ा एक 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 रूम एटलीस्ट डेमो पर जैसे कौन भी विजिटर्स आते हैं या कौन भी फैकल्टी ये रूम पूरा है ना इसमें कनेक्शन नहीं है पैनल की रेटिंग सब आ जाएगी हां 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 स्टक का पैनल है कैसे कनेक्शन करते हैं उत्तर बना के हम लोग आई होप अभी समझ में आया होगा पैनल का कनेक्शन है ऑल राइट एंड ऑलरेडी आपको पता ही होगा बट एज इसको एक बार करेंगे आप दो मिनट तो आपको ही ज्यादा आएगा और यहां पे करके आप देख लीजिए हां हां उधर उधर जाते जाते नहीं अभी तो ये नहीं लेना है सिर्फ ये लेके आप लोग एक बार थोड़ा आईडिया लगा ये बड़ा बहुत पता है मतलब ये जो यहाँ पे सर ने बताया कि लोड और पैनल के बीच में जो वोल्टेज और करेंट उसमें एक वायर जोड़ना पड़ेगा ना तो एक दिया
पुराने साइड कर दिया It should be considered in that level. कि जैसे अभी वो tube light जो है, tube light भी tube light जो है, हाँ Thank you. 
या फिर मेरे पास लैपटॉप है अंदर उसमें कनेक्शन का जो दिया बहुत सिंपल